Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Pacifica here in Open Rosales 4 Super States Mod. Uh, we've been fast forwarding here for like 10 years or so. We took the Northern Mariana Islands as our vassal, and we also took Hawaii as our vassal. Now, this was only made possible because Hawaii colonized right next to us here. Uh, since we share a sea tile, the distance between borders was gone. And that was really the only thing preventing us from, from getting him as a vassal. And then the same thing happened with um, with these guys, the Northern Mariana guys. They colonized Timor right next to our colony Flores, and that got rid of the distance penalty. Now they want to be our vassal. Now the nice thing about that, the, I mean, the, there's goods and bads. The nice thing is they're going to colonize for us, just like the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico colonized for us. These two guys are going to colonize most of the Pacific Islands for us, which is great. The bad thing is, it's more vassals, and we already have too many vassals. We're at what? We're at 11 out of 7 relationships right now, and it's just a pain in the dick. Uh, excuse my French. Another bad thing that happened is Massachusetts went in and beat the crap out of the Inca, so much so that they created a colony in here, which is good and bad. Colony is good because it means my colonies can beat up their colony. Colony is bad because I left a gap over here. I didn't realize that I had left a gap of Chiquitos, and Massachusetts quickly colonized this province, this province, this province, and these two. He colonized five provinces so quickly. It was insane, and he doesn't have any armies down here to protect them because the, they never rebel. AI never gets rebels. In their, well, okay, 99% of AI colonies never get rebels, so they never lose the colony. And they never send any units to protect them. It's just, I don't know, it's just stupid. In any case, uh, this really is a pain in my ass. And we're going to have to break our alliance with Massachusetts so that the colonies can fight each other. Your colonies can fight other nations' colonies so long as you are not allied with the leader of the other colony. So we can't be allied to Massachusetts. We're going to have to break that alliance. And to do that, we're going to be declaring war on Texas. Uh, another thing that's going on is we wanted to annex South Dakota and Missouri. We went to war with Kansas. In the war with Kansas, we full annexed Wyoming, which was great. All of our cores are in. We're still a little bit of revolt risk, but it's not that bad. We full annexed Wyoming, and we made Kansas give some land back to South Dakota and Missouri. Our current vassals are Wisconsin, Missouri, New Mexico, South Dakota, Iowa, Hawaii, and North Mariana Islands. Future vassals include, but are not limited to, Kentucky, Indiana, and Ohio. Probably North Carolina and Virginia as well. Do you still have cores on stuff? Not really. Uh, you have some. All right, North Carolina is probably a valuable, valuable vassal, but Virginia not so much. The thing is, when these nations keep going to war, they convert the culture. And when they convert the culture... Your cores are gone. The original cores are gone. So that's why Virginia doesn't have all of its cores. That's why uh, North Carolina doesn't have all the cores. You can see it's the wrong culture. Uh, same thing with Texas. Texas over here in Oklahoma, he converted this to Texan, converted to Texan, converted to Texan, converted to Texan, converted to Texan. Every single province that Texas took, he converted so that you can the, all the cores, the original cores are all gone. That's a, a really big problem. I don't like that one bit. Um, but that's just part of the generic uh, game mechanics from EU4. It's not this. It's not this mod causing that. It's just regular EU4 doing that. In any case, uh, we're going to get a war with Texas going. We have claims along the coast here, including Harris, which is where Houston is, and Harris is an important center of trade and it's an estuary. So it's a very important province on the Gulf Coast trade node, one of the main trade nodes that feeds into the Caribbean. We currently have the second highest trade power on this node, but if we can steal Harris in this war, that will give us uh, probably around 50% of the, of the uh, trade strength here, with I, which I think is super valuable. So I'm willing to do that like right now. Before we went into any more wars, I wanted to annex South Dakota, Missouri, and New Mexico, but it proved to be not possible because when we annexed our Mexican vassals, in the last episode we annexed five Mexican vassals, and that caused an insane amount of negative relations with all of our other vassals. We're at negative 121 here with Missouri. 
So we can't really annex them until 20 years has gone by and the next vassal penalty is gone. I think it's 20 years? It might be 30 years, I don't know. But we can't, we can't annex them for a considerable amount of time. So since that's the case, we're just going to go beat up on Texas. Texas is allied to Florida, Ohio, Tennessee, and Virginia. Uh, Virginia, just going to ignore them. Tennessee, probably just siege them up and ignore them. Uh, Ohio, we might vassalize Ohio, but the problem is we have too many vassals already. Florida, I don't really want any of his land up here, but I do want the Bahamas. So we'll see if we can't get the Bahamas off of Florida during this war. All right, are we ready? Are we ready? Are you ready? Oh, right, we have a truce. Whoops, when's our truce up? Oh, wow, whoops, two years. All right, well, we'll fast forward for two years. Sorry about that. I thought we were ready to go to war, but I didn't check to see if our truce was still around. But yeah, Texas full innate New Mexico, so we released New Mexico and Coconino, and then fed them all of this land from Texas. Yay! And we also took El Paso, because why not? But yeah, you haven't really missed a whole lot. We're trying to fast forward because there's a whole lot of things I need to get done in this series. Like, form the USA if we can. Uh, that's a long way down the road, but we're going to do it as fast as we can without uh, without causing too much of a coalition. Uh, better relations guy? There is there is no better relations guy. Fine. If we had a better relations guy, we might be able to annex these things, but nah, without him it's just not possible. New Jersey's embargoing us again. Okay. Okie dokie. Whatever you say, New Jersey. Whatever you say. Oh, that's one way to break our alliance with Massachusetts. We could declare on New Jersey. We have a CB since he's embargoing me. Uh, everyone would join except Massachusetts. That would be interesting, actually. Yeah, that's one way to get into a war with Massachusetts. Do I want that war? Massachusetts, North Carolina, Tennessee. I don't really care about those guys. It would get Tennessee off our back, so Tennessee wouldn't join when we declare on Texas. So that's kind of nice. And it breaks our alliance with Massachusetts so that our vassals can fight each other. Hmm. I should probably warn you, I've had a couple beers, so I'm kind of not fully focusing properly, but I'm trying to think, like, is this really a good war for us? It could be a good war for us. He has Philadelphia, which is a hugely important province. Important center of trade, 12 base tax, um, but his own lands are not worth that much, but just owning Philadelphia makes it impossible to full annex or even vassalize this guy in a war. So I'm trying to think what we could possibly do. Maybe just make him give this back to Pennsylvania, but that doesn't really help us in any way. Uh, could make him release Delaware or give some land to uh, Maryland, our ally, but that doesn't really help us either. Hmm. It's probably still worth it because Massachusetts really screwed us over. We had a war. Massachusetts declared war on New York. He called me in. Of course I joined. I'm his ally. And during the war is when he did all this shit down here with the Inca, and I was pissed off at him. And we sieged up. You can see we have little armies all over New York's islands. We sieged up all of New York's islands. We sieged up Florida's. Florida was one of the guys against us. We sieged up Florida's islands. Uh, my vassals were over here sieging up Florida. We started carpet sieging New York. I landed troops in New York City. And then Massachusetts just peaced out. He's like, uh, I'll just surrender for 60 gold. Because he never sieged up the target province. He declared for Fairfield, and he never even sieged it at all during the war. He just ignored it the entire war. And it's like, well, why do you declare for a province if you're not going to siege it up? I don't know. AI is stupid. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably worth doing, actually. So, yeah, let's let's do it. Let's kick this off. Uh, we'll start fighting Massachusetts here. Indiana, Michigan, and Maryland are all going to join. Okay. Massachusetts, North Carolina, and Tennessee. All right, let's do it. Not sure what I want out of this war. Uh, the leader is Tennessee. Oh, is he going to call in Texas? Are you going to call in Texas? Well, that would be interesting. Texas? Texas, come on, call in Texas. Oh, he can't because of the truce. Right. Huh. Well, who else are your allies? New Jersey, Ohio, Texas, and Virginia. Hmm. For some reason, Tennessee is not calling in his allies, like Virginia is not being called in. Ah, well, whatever. Oh, there we go. Texas is in. Woohoo! Yay! What truce? I don't know what you're talking about. There's no truce. There's no truce. No truce. No truce. La 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 la. We should try for another general. Oh, 
try for another general. Come on, dice rolls. Ugh, garbage generals. I mean, what the fuck? We're, I understand, I understand a player can never be a lucky nation. I have lucky nations turned on. So Texas is a lucky nation. I don't know if Tennessee is, probably not. Uh, Massachusetts is a lucky nation. New York is a lucky nation. Florida is a lucky nation. There's a few lucky nations. Illinois, I think, is a lucky nation. There's a few lucky nations in this mod. And they get better generals, better dice rolls, uh, better terrain most of the time. They just get all the advantages, which is fine. But it seems, you'd think with like 70 tradition, all three of these generals were rolled. We rolled all of these with, with 70 tradition, and they're all garbage. The one four, I mean, is okay, but the rest, it, oh, it's just garbage. It's just garbage. All right, so we're at war with Texas. This is great. Uh, he probably hasn't fully recovered from the last war, which is, which is very much ideal. Let's go straight to his capital and uh, knock on the door. Let's go say what's up, Texas. What's up, Texas? Oh, Virginia's in. Okay, so he is calling in. Tennessee is calling in his other allies. It just took him a while to figure out that, oh, I've got other allies. Hey, I've got other allies. All right, turn that off. Turn on, go this way. New Mexico is sieging up Potter. That's great. Kick some ass. Oh, Tagalone has finished colonizing. Good, good. Move on to Maguinda now. Upgrade the fort. And it's already added to the trade company. Great. The trade company in Philippines is going to be pretty much 100% ours, except for a couple islands. So we've got a nice stranglehold on that shit. Oh, we're at war with North Carolina. No, I wanted to vassalize North Carolina. I guess we can still vassalize North Carolina. Oh, look, he's attacking me in McClellan. Okay. Um... Yeah, no, that's great. Attack me in Cleveland, all you want, dude. I will put on... I will split. I will put on Forced March, and once you attack, which will be what? When? 10th of October, 12th of October. So the 10th of October. Let's party. Get in there and fight, maggot. All right, we have the river crossing defense bonus, but of course, he has a better general, and he rolls better. Ow, yeah, that hurts. Ow, that really hurts. He rolled an eight. Ow. Ow. That just, it, he's wrecking me, man. That hurts. We outnumber him massively, and it doesn't matter. Oh my god, we finally won the battle. But we lost 32,000 soldiers. Ouch. So, follow him. Let's see if we can't crush this army. Please. Do not let him retreat. We need him dead. Ah, he has level 4s everywhere. Oh, nope, not his capital. Everything's a level 4 except his capital. That's weird. That is quite weird. So where is this guy going to stop with his massive stack? He's going... I don't care about Tennessee. I want to kill Texas. He's going to... Cotto. All right. I'll meet you there, bro. Yes! There goes Texas Army. Beautiful. Okay, forced march for the win. And they're dead. Okay, just stay there. Let's move. Spread out. That's what you gotta do, man. You gotta chase them down and squish them if you can. If you can't, then you're fucked. Alright, let's invade Tennessee. Uh, let's 
going on over here? Who's this? Ah, Michigan. Wait, Michigan's my ally? Oh, right, Michigan's my ally. Go get him, Michigan. <laughs> we need to break our alliance with Michigan at some point here. Uh, we also need to declare war on him so we can feed Indiana and Wisconsin some land. But for now, this is really convenient. Okay, so I'm going to turn these guys around. And you can go that way. And you can split in half. And go to Potter. Okay, good, good. Siege up. I am concerned about that 24 stack. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, we got new Cardinal. Yay! Alright, go for him. Yes. We need to get control of the Curia back. It's running to Shelby. Hmm. Uh, stay there. I don't know where this guy's going. Go back. Concerned about that giant stack. Did you hear about his big stack? It was quite large and impressive. You gonna attack me over here in Garland? Probably. Yep. Nope. No, he's just watching me. He's got a 5-5 five, five general. Jesus. I'm so jealous of this. Uh, the AI just always has these amazing generals, and I've got garbage generals. Always. And it makes a big difference. You know, every dice roll, the general's modifiers are directly added to the dice roll. So if you have a 5-shock general, then it adds 5 to the dice roll. If the enemy has a 5-shock general then it uh, subtracts from your five and it turns out to be a zero, so nothing gets added to the dice roll. So the comparison between the, the strength of the generals it has a huge impact on every single battle. That's why it pains me. If you've ever watched DDR Jake, he, he really doesn't like to use generals. So he'll frequently engage with no general. And it's like if the enemy has a five, six or something, he's losing thousands and thousands every day to that 5-6 general. It's just it's painful to watch sometimes. <laughs> Alright, looks like he's just doing a standoff with me, which is fine. I'm finishing sieges while he's just watching. Look at this guy. Why aren't you engaging me? You, you have a way better general than I do. I don't know. Maybe he's timid. Now you're just going to stand there. All right. Well, my, look, my vassals are all sieging you up. And he's just like, duh, I'm in a war. Yay. Don't quote me on that. Oh, there goes Bexar. That's one of the claims I have. Oh, and Travis. Okay. That's the capital. And McClellan, okay. Yeah, I don't know what this guy's doing. I don't know what his plan is, but it's not working. Whatever his plan is, it's pretty shit. We have engaged the Texan Navy. Well, 40 trade ships versus 4. We're probably going to win this one. Pretty sure of it. Oh, and of course my colony is sieging up. Oh, I didn't even think about that. We can take this Massachusetts colony here. Why the fuck not? Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Steal a colony, go. Oh, you guys should probably take a look at what's happened to Crimea. It's, uh, well, it's a little sad. Yeah, that's Crimea. Mm-hmm. I don't know if, I don't, I don't think this is how bad it was last episode, but basically, Karkoinlu, Kazan, and Russia 
they didn't go in the same war. They had like four or five separate wars where they just beat the shit out of Crimea again and again and again. And guess what? Crimea was not allied with the Ottomans at all. And while all that was happening, the Mamluks went up here and took land from the Ottomans. So it's a very weird Black Sea area we have in this game, which is nice. I like weird. The Hansa is invading Sweden. Why is the Hansa invading Sweden? I gotta see. What is this? The Polish conquest of Ostprussen. So Poland declares war on Prussia. And that makes the Hansa invade Sweden. Sure. No, that's, that's perfectly normal. Poland invades Prussia. So the Hansa invades Sweden. Okay. Yeah. No, I can dig it. I can dig it. Yeah. Can you dig it? I can dig it. Goodness. What a world. There goes Kato. Well, if he's just going to stand there, I'm perfectly content with letting him stand there because I don't want any of his land. Mm hmm. Doesn't bother me. Ah, now he's moving. Now he's moving. Okay, so we have a party on our hands. Uh, forced march? Let's go. Oh, he changed his mind. Oh, he's going to Shelby now. Okay. I'll meet you there, bro. It'll be fun. Ah, finished a colony. Good. So that flips to Yargentina. Great. We can also seize this. Send a colonist. Oh no, we need to send a colonist. Uh, whoops. Viseas. Yeah, you don't need that. No, get out of there. Get out of there. I need you down here, bro. Come on, bro. 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 Please. The colony is too far away. You can only colonize provinces that are adjacent to one of your own provinces or as a coastal province. Bullshit, game. Fucking bullshit. Of course I can reach this. You fucking... I got a colonist available right now. Are you kidding me? Oh, God. This is one of the dumbest bugs in this game. You're supposed to save and reload or, or do something. But the fact that I can't colonize right now means that I can't convert it to my culture, which it should be. Fuck you, game. In the meantime, we'll colonize more of this shit, I guess. Hmm... Almahera, Buru, or Sumba. Probably Buru. Yeah, Buru. Okay. God damn, this Tennessee general, he's so good. He scares me, you know? He's a 5-5 against my... Oh, my vassal has a 5-4. Look at that. Missouri's got a 5-4. So we're not that bad here, because Missouri's really kicking ass. Thank you, Missouri, for your excellent general. In the meantime, we're finishing up the Siege of Texas. And there goes more of Texas. Yay, more of Texas falling. Now, where are you going to retreat to, little Tennessee boy? Because I would like to kick your ass. A lot. You're going east. All right, let's go east. Where? Davidson. All right. He's probably running to Roanoke. Okay, we have claims on all of Texas coastline now, so anything we piece out is fine with me. If I can snag Harris, I'll be a happy little camper, but even if we can't, we'll still take something on the coast. I actually stopped in Hamilton. We got there for the end of the month? You bet your ass we can. All right, well, that Tennessee army's gonna die. Nope, no insta squish. Oh, we rolled a zero. Congratulations on rolling a zero. It's not like that was an important battle or anything. And then a one. Good numbers here. And then another zero. Wow, we're really kicking it up a notch, aren't we? And then a one. Zero, one, zero, one, and then a five. And then a nine. In the meantime, though, we lost 10,000 soldiers. Wow, good job rolling garbage. Jesus 
Fucking Christ. What, what's with the shit-ass rolls, man? Fucking super crappy, terrible rolls. There we go. Thank God he is dead. He's dead. Well, he's... The general just moves on to the next province, but... The army died. The general's doing fine. Alright, so Texas is almost done. The question is, what do we want to take from them? Well, Harris would be great. Houston area. But we'll see if that's a possibility. It may not even be possible. Lafayette would also be good, because that would allow us peacefully vassalize uh, West Florida. But we'll see. Hello, Massachusetts. Who wants to fuck with my navy, do you? I see. How's that working out for you, Massachusetts? Oh, I see. Yep. Goodbye, Massachusetts Navy. Yep, there we go. Alright, let's see if we can finish this shit up. For some reason... New Mexico has been unable to do any sieging at all. He's been standing on that province with 13 soldiers since the beginning of the war. And as you can see, we've sieged everything, and he hasn't even finished that one province. That's um, a little weird, but I eh, can't hold it against him, I guess. He's trying his best. He's trying his best. Alright, come on, Texas. Call, cry uncle, dude. I want you out of this war. I want your land. I want to core that ship. Yeah. Bay Stater Peru. What a name. What a name. We actually have zero war score in Massachusetts. So if we want to get any war score in Massachusetts, we're probably going to have to siege him up. Probably not going to do that. I stole his colony. That's pretty much the extent of my effort to invade Massachusetts. Uh-oh. No, one of my guys died. I really don't want this guy. Oh, shit. Take him anyway. Frank Duke Mayan, controversial protectionist. This is my uh, level 3 trade efficient guy. Gain mercantilism. Oh, God, yes. We're up to 15.5 now. Good. Military access from Castile. Okay. You didn't embargo me like Portugal did, so okay. Come on, finish the Siege of Texas. Still can't send a colonist, because broken. No bugs in the game, just a lot of features. Some very, very interesting and frustrating features. Roanoke, cool. Come on back. Ooh, colonist arrived in McGuinda now. Very nice, very nice, very nice indeed. Deedly, doodly, needly, noodly. Noodly, noodly, doodly, noodly. Doodly, noodly. Oh no, rebels. Oh no, rebels. That's okay. Group up. Come on back. So if we take Harris and Bexar, we're looking at 23 base tax with an important center of trade and an estuary. I don't think we can get all that, but we'll see. Oh. Oh, yes. Goodbye, ships. Huh. Why are you sending over four ships when I have a fleet of... I don't know. Whatever. All right. Texas is done. 100%. Yay. All right. Uh, how much is that? 88. Oh, my God. 88. Wow. 88. And shit, we're at max Diplo points. Oh, shit. Wait, we're going to spend Diplo points in the peace deal anyway. 88. 
Wow. Oh my goodness. I can't even take anything else. Except Tunja. 88. Just wow. Wow, wow, wow. But it's it's worth doing, so I'm going to do it. God damn. And get rid of... Get rid of your alliance with Tennessee, because that's got to be the most annoying alliance ever. Okay, Texas is gone. Beautiful. Core that. Oh, it's a nice Texas you have there, with a chunk missing. <laughs> Just happens to be an important center of trade in an estuary. Teehee. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Oh, Texas, you lost all your influence. It's all mine. It's all mine. All mine. Oh, it feels good, man. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Getting voted into the White House. Now I got the world swinging from my nuts. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Oh, man. Yes. Yes. I'm going to rename this. There you go. Beautiful name. Armies have arrived in Suckett, Texas. Indeed. So what do we want from this war? Nothing, really. I just wanted to find a way to get rid of our alliance with Massachusetts. Um, we're at 59%. Let's see if we can peace out and take the shit this way. Uh, yes. Yes, yes. Works for me. And the rest of it, I mean, I'm okay just letting it sit. We can do more later. Is there anything I want to do? It might make sense just to keep this war going for the sake of uh, letting my colonies keep sieging down here. Then again, I, anything they siege, I have to sell to them one province at a time. And I'll have to sit with the overextension for a while. But it's probably worth it, though. Yeah, it's probably worth it. I'm, I'm convincing myself that this is worth it. Wait, Texan Columbia is still in the war? Wait a minute, Texan Columbia is still in the war? What? How? How is Texan Columbia still in the war? I don't know. But that's hilarious. Okay, we're gonna go scare off Texan Columbia. How are you still in the war? <laughs> what? We pieced out Texas, but his colony did not piece out. That doesn't make any sense. What is happening to my world? All right, let me find the general for you, because that is, I got to admit, that's pretty amazing. Okay, you're going to go this way, okay? Just, just sit there. Don't do nothing. And I want you to have a general, okay? 3-3? Three, three. No, no, 3-3. Three, three. There you go. What in the world? Why are you still in the war? Now, see, Twitch chat's saying it's a bug, but there's no bugs in this game, so it can't be a bug. It's it's a feature of some kind. Just gotta figure out what kind of feature it is. I wonder if we're gonna be able to convert this thing. Nope. Can't convert it. Oh, hello, Northern Territory. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. Victoria, they kind of ate New South Wales. I mean, yeah, there's not a whole lot of New South Wales left. So we're going to see if we can't beat the shit out of uh, the rest of Australia. But that's the thing. It's like every time I bring up Australia, like, hey, we're going to fuck up Australia. It's like, but there's so much shit left to do here. We got all this stuff to do, man. I don't know if we're going to have time to do Australia. We'll try. I'll, I'll, I will try to do Australia. Might need some more beer for Australia. I don't know. We'll see. No, you can't have peace. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I got shit to do, man. You can't have peace. Uh, you know what I should do, though, is I should tech up. Because we're... I mean, we're, we're almost at our max. Ah, 
this game, man. I still can't send my colonist over here. Come on. Wow, 29th of September. I'm just going to put on full speed. Hurry up. Oh, you know, we can send some dudes down. I do have shippy, shippy ships. Shippy ships, shippy ships, ship ship. Actually, I can just get access, huh? Yeah, fuck it. Just give me some fucking access. It's so much easier. And have a general. And come on down. Come on down. Oh, there goes Tennessee's capital. Neener, neener, neener. I got your capital. Who the fuck is this? Indiana. Okay. Okay. I wonder what Maryland's up to. Are you still high, Maryland? Yeah, he's still high. As long as he doesn't fall to low, then he'll stay in the war. I don't know what he wants from the war, but maybe nothing. There's not always an, an ulterior motive. Sometimes. Usually. Now we should keep fabricating on Texas, I think. Let's see. McClellan... My only two choices for fabricating are McClellan and Bowie, which are both kind of crap. I guess we'll go for Bowie, because it opens up more options. Such a weird war. Cali and Argentina are both up here sieging. Good, good. I don't know why they're not fighting these guys over here. They are two techs behind. You'd think you'd, you know, want to fight them, but no, apparently not. Claim Bowie. Oh, look, I'm already doing that. Of course I want that mission. Thank you. These are the best missions when it's like, hey, why don't you keep doing the thing you're already doing? Okay. Yeah, here's a reward for doing the thing that you were already doing that we then asked you to do anyway. I love rewards. Colony arrived in Buru. Okay. And my vassal is colonizing Halmahera. Good, I'm so glad I vassalized those guys. Because they're going to colonize a lot of shit that I don't have to anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Native rising in the colonies. No one cares. Ooh, neck poppy goodness. Who's this? Virginia wants peace. Okay, well, what do you want, Virginia? You're completely sieged. No, you're not completely sieged yet. My vassal, Wisconsin. Oh, North Carolina. Ooh. What do we want to do with North Carolina? Nothing, probably. So, we do have some options, though. For instance, if we vassalize Virginia, we can then core North Carolina. Or, if we vassalize North Carolina, we can then core Virginia. That's actually quite tempting because North Carolina has a bunch of cores on Tennessee, and we could start feeding him right now. But the problem is we're we're so over our vassal limit. I mean, is that worth it? If we annex Virginia, which would be 14 base tax, so it'd be cheaper. It'd be about the same price as suck at Texas. If we take both of these, we can core them, and then we can vassalize North Carolina, who has cores on... Oh, did he lose his cores? No, they're still there. They're gone. North Carolina lost his cores on Tennessee. No. Well, then there's no reason to vassalize him. There's <laughs> no reason. I'll just keep him sieged up for now. God damn, there's so many opportunities, but... Wait, where did the army go? You ran away? You fucking pussy, you ran away! Where did he go? Did we kill him? Was there a battle? I didn't see a battle. Anyway. Unsiege that. I don't know where he went. I think he's still around. Ah, oh, well, we'll find him. Or we'll just ignore him and siege him up. Oh, we're 100% on... Tennessee, but I don't want to peace out. I don't wanna, you can't make me. 
I don't want it because uh, this is a great opportunity to annex all these colonial provinces. Why the hell not? We got Diplo points out the ass. Might as well. Nope, no peace. Get out of here. Wait a minute. We can peace out Jersey separately? Why can we peace Jersey separately? That's so weird. I should give that to Maryland, huh? I should give a lot of this to Maryland, except uh, he's only... Yeah, if he finishes the Siege of Atlantic, I'll give him both of those. Essex and Atlantic. That way he can core them and I don't have to worry about it. Mm -mm. Wait, are these all level 1s? These are probably all level 1s. Oh, level 3, level... Two, uh, never mind. Two level 1s, a level 2, and a level 3. Okay, well, still. Uh, you know, the AI and level 1s, they love them. They, they can't get enough of the level 1s. Come on now, Maryland. Finish the Siege of Atlantic. We'll peace out. I can finish my beer. Maybe get some lunch. Oh, Viseus is done. Cool. Level 2 fort that. And where do I want to send my colonist? Oh, my colonist was not even in Viseus. But yeah, look at that. We got the entirety of um, Sulu Sulawesi and the Philippines. Looking good, looking good. Uh, probably go to Ternate. Or Sumba. Probably Ternate first. But yeah, how's the trade node looking? Pretty good, man. <laughs> Pretty good on the trade node there. I like it. Nope, 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 no peace. No peace. No peace. I hate peace. Oh, come on. Just finish the fucking sieges. Wait, what? Essequibo. Where the fuck is Essequibo? Oh, over there! <laughs> Why would anyone care about that? North Carolina, you got me. You got me. Oh, I can siege up all this shit. <gasps> I'm at war with North Carolina! I can siege up all this shit. Yeah! Oh my goodness, this war turned out to be amazing for me. I can siege up all this shit and give it all to Cali. This is great! I am never gonna peace out of this war, ever. Take Bowie. Eh, these missions are garbage. I didn't realize that North Carolina was the nation we were at war with, but it totally is. Oh, Brandenburg is the emperor. Really? Yep, Brandenburg is the emperor. All right, well, I guess no one likes Austria anymore. Why is France in Castile again? What's going on this time? Aragonese conquest of Malta. Aragon declares war on Naples. Naples, you're allied to Castile. Yep, all right, and France is allied to Aragon, so... There you go. Looks like New Jersey's ready for peace. Let's take a look. I'm going to give this to Maryland. Yep, and he's happy. Good. So I like to do that because that makes Maryland happy, right? Gave province in peace, plus 10. Good. And the more of a bully we make up here in Maryland, the more aggressive expansion he gets, the more heat is off my back. And yes, I'm concerned about colonial nations down here, but it looks like it'll be okay. All of this shit will go to, Col to, go, will go to Cali, and then we can selectively sell him one province at a time down here. Uh, now, Colonial Peru is another beast entirely, but it should be okay because we don't have cores yet. As long as we don't have cores, it won't form a colonial nation, so we should be able to sell these one piece at a time to Cali and Argentina. At least that's what I'm thinking. I'm hoping. I don't want a colonial nation down there. Man, this war. This war turned out to be such a boon. Thank you for, thank you for embargoing me, New Jersey. That really turned out great, didn't it? He must be crying in his Cheerios. 
poor bastard. Yay, another cardinal. We have two. Two cardinals. Ah, ah, ah. I think I'm going to abandon this guy because he's so goddamn old, and we'll put our faith in Mr. Mantua here. Yes, indeed, Lee Doodly. Needly Noodly. Doodly Doodly. Noodly Doodly. Doodly Noodly. General? Nope. Alright, well, take him out. We need to kill the rebels. Oh, there's a general for you. Yeah, Frank Merriman, my 1 4. You are the man. The man with the plan. Oh, rebels in Tennessee's capital. No, it's all falling apart. I don't want it to fall apart. Mom? Billy's touching me. Billy. Leave Brendan alone. Brendan's a girl's name. I should stop drinking. All right, Texan Columbia, get out of the war. You you are a next. Thank you for playing. And Cali can now start coring all these provinces, and he is. Yeah, look at that. I don't see any Texan Columbia. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no such thing as Texan Columbia. You just made that word up. And that made Estado Mexico leave the coalition against me. Really? You left the coalition? Oh, that's awfully nice of you. Would you like to be next? Mm. Uh-oh, someone died. <gasps> Missionary strength? Missionary strength! Yes! 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 Oh my god, missionary strength. Wait a minute, I still can't... I still can't convert anything? Oh no! And my inflation is still so fucking high. Oh, damn it. All right, we'll get the inflation reduction guy. Shoot. There is no inflation reduction guy. Uh-oh. 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 Bad. Bad. Very bad. Ooh. 25 army tradition. Don't mind if I do. Welcome to 100 army tradition. Let's see. Are, are you busy, Mr. 3-2? You know, you're not busy. Oh, you're fired. You're fired. All right. Let's see what 100 tradition gets. All right. Everyone, please pray. Bow your heads and pray for uh, a good general here. Game, you've treated us like crap this entire Let's Play. My best general is a 3-3. Please, for the love of God, give me something good for this 100 army tradition. Wait, drink the beer first. Okay, come on, let's do it. Ah, oh, a 2-3. Fuck you, game. Fuck you right in the fuck hole. <laughs> this fucking game, man. King died. Woohoo! Which is great, because our new king is a 535. Our last king was like a 234 or something. Holy shit! Washington Downey, a 564. Uh, well, King, you've been promoted to a general. He's actually pretty good. A 4-3 is my best general. Henry, Henry, I, I don't want to pressure you or anything, but can you please, like, can you, can you just forget to wear armor into battle for once, or... I don't know. Uh, play some practical jokes with your friends while you're riding along, and maybe maybe they'll unhook your strap on the horse, and you'll fall off and get trampled. Come on, please, just 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 fucking die, please. I can't believe I'm saying that to a five three five, but I really need this this five six four. He's way better. Uh, mainly because we have way way too many vassals.
Henry, ride into battle. No, you can't have peace. Kill this army, and then we'll unsiege all this crap. Actually, you can unsiege that one here. There we go. Kill this army, and then hopefully you'll die in battle. Okay, uh, hey, Luther, Harnet, can you just go kill my king, please? I mean, if it's not, not, like, no, no, nope, he killed you? Okay, well, that happens. All right, North Carolina, are you ready? There you go. It's only 6% war score. Now, you don't have any other land, do you? Nope. Alright. I am not. I don't really want that shit. Did anyone else seize that up? Nope. Nope. Okay. Uh, that's pretty good. Just, I don't know, get rid of your allies. Nah, nope. Uh, just keep your shitty allies. You have shitty allies, man. Like, super shitty allies. He has, I think, the worst allies I've ever seen. Th these are garbage. Every single one of these guys who he's allied with, we could annex in one war. So that's, I don't know. Okay, just take all that. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Kill some rebels. And over here, instead of coring this stuff, we're going to sell it to Cali after the war is over. That way... He gets it, and we don't create a new colonial nation in Guyana. Uh, there is a colonial nation you can form in Guyana. We have the provinces you need for it, but it's like the worst colonial nation ever imaginable, so we're not going to make it. And I'd rather have Cali stronger rather than a shitty, weak Guyana, if that makes any sense. You're shitty and weak. So... Down here, we'll probably take, I don't know, four provinces or something. One, two, three, we'll take five. All right, that's fine. That'll do. One, three, three. Done. It's only 10 war score. And up here, I don't really care. It, it doesn't matter. Massachusetts, you can stay, do whatever you want. Um, release Alabama. That wouldn't do any good. Release Arkansas. Would that do any good? I mean, it's wasting 50 Diplo points. I, I really, I'm of the, I'm of the belief that this game should not charge you Diplo points to release a nation from someone else. You're doing a good deed for the world. You're bringing back a nation that used to exist, doesn't exist anymore. You're giving them freedom for the first time in who knows how many years, and they charge you points for it. It shouldn't. But I, I guess since I don't want to be charged any points, I just won't do that. So just get rid of all your alliances, whatever. That doesn't cost me anything. I can't convert you. You're way too big. I could make Virginia a vassal, but I don't want to. Okay, we're done. Yay, and now we're way, way overextended. Uh, we're about to finish Suck at Texas. We're at 92%. And we can immediately sell some land to our colony. I still can't send my colonist to Mabarakayu, so I guess that's just going to be bugged out. Uh, let's sell whatever has the highest base tax. There you go, four base tax. Buy my worthless piece of crap. No, why not? You're overextended. Oh, because he instantly took Zeres. Gotcha, so he needs to finish that. And I can't sell any of this because Cali's overextended. But uh, it should be okay. We're going to do that. Come back. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. Suck it, Texas. I oh, should probably rename that. I don't know. I'm drinking. Don't mind me. This is um, Harris. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. We now have very, very good control on the Gulf Coast. We're going to send some ships out to make sure that we keep control over there. Probably just build some new ships for it. And uh, we've made Maryland a little stronger, so he's happy about that. I'm happy about it, too, because I think Pennsylvania might be... I mean, not Pennsylvania. I think Philadelphia might be... 
I think New Jersey might be small enough to vassalize now. And uh, pretty soon we should have that penalty. There you go. The penalty for next vassals is gone. So we can finally annex South Dakota, Missouri, and New Mexico uh, without any real pain. But before we do that, we'll probably be uh, beating up Kansas again. I mean, if we wait three years, we can beat up Kansas, get Iowa full. We can beat up Michigan, get Wisconsin and Indiana full. Then we can annex one, two, three, four, five, six vassals at the same fucking time. Right? That's the plan anyway. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.